Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3. So this was recommended by Warstew on Twitter and I thought, hey, why not? Let's just make this video. So I did make a video about Power Girl in the past, which wasn't too good, if I'm totally honest. And I think I could definitely improve on that. So I thought I might as well do this video just to wrap some stuff up because that was ages ago. I'm sure loads of you haven't seen that. So just a heads up that this is a pre-recorded video as I'm recording this on the 12th of July, the day before I go away because I'm going away on holiday for 10 days from the 13th of July, so I will be missing San Diego Comic Con, sadly. But don't worry, all my trailer breakdowns will come out within the next few days after San Diego Comic Con, because I arrived back two days after Comic Con, after all the CW panels, so expect a load of trailer breakdowns, and a load of bonus videos regarding what they talk about at all these panels so definitely get hyped supergirl is going to have its first look in under two weeks so get hyped guys so in today's video we're going to be talking about the question who is power girl and could she be introduced on a tv show so power girl is the earth 2 doppelganger of kara zorel in the comics she is actually still called kara zorel she's not called something else like jay garrick and barry's dad and she is a prominent member of the jsa which is the justice society of america in the comics so they could do something on legends if they wanted to do that and they could definitely revisit the jsa and i think they would be very stupid if they don't go back to some sort of jsa team up considering how great all the characters are and how great the episode was and i think they have a lot of room to introduce a character like kara considering all the vacancies in the team with vixen gone with all the teams split up so i think that will be an awesome way if they were to do that but there's definitely ways to introduce her on the flash or supergirl as well but the one big problem is that she would have to be played by melissa benoist so she couldn't pop up all year round on any show considering that melissa benoist is going to be shooting all year round on supergirl so it would be the easiest to do for like a recurring character if it was on the supergirl tv show and it would be more of a problem and it would be more of a cameo if she were ever to pop up on legends or the flash or maybe arrow which i don't think it would so in one off episode where power girl were to appear so they could totally do power girl in the arrowverse i think it would be a great cameo if she were to appear and a lot of people will be hyped considering She's got a big status in the comics and she could definitely appear in The Flash as a brief easter egg or more as a surprise cameo role when The Flash say travels to another Earth, say like Earth 19 and then we get to see Power Girl which is played by Melissa Benoist because it's the doppelganger. But because the TV shows don't need to say she's from Earth 1 considering they don't follow the comics super accurately, they could say she's from another Earth apart from earth 38 because that's where kara zorel supergirl is so it can't be power girl in that earth so in supergirl we were shown that earth 38 and earth one do not have the same doppelgangers they do not have the same people they don't have a barry allen they don't have a harrison Wells. they don't have a cisco ramon and we don't know if that goes back to earth one we don't know if, if earth one have a kara danvers or an alex danvers or hank henshaw or say anyone from the supergirl show we actually don't know that as of now which Earth 1 and Earth 2 do the same thing as those two Earths are parallel to each other and I don't think all of the Earths correlate together considering that we know that Earth 1 doesn't have any doppelgangers in Earth 38 and I think it's the same with other Earths. Some are parallel to others and some aren't like Earth 1 and Earth 2 so we just need to find an Earth that is parallel to Earth 38 because there definitely is one so they will definitely have a Kara Danvers or a Kara Zorel doppelganger on that Earth. We just need to find what Earth that is. And that's potentially where Power Girl could be introduced within the Supergirl TV show or any other TV show as she is just alternate version of Supergirl. Still from Krypton, just with a few minor changes, the same powers. So potentially she could pop up at any time on any of the shows. It's just whether the showrunners and the writers are willing to give Kara's doppelganger go on any of the TV shows. So what do you guys think? Are you totally down for Power Girl like me? I would personally love to see Power Girl and see how Melissa Benoist would portray this different version of herself from another Earth. And I think that would be totally awesome. And hopefully maybe she will come in a crossover. I think that would be probably the best time to show up. So what do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.